Hey guys, got a bug here, and I'm getting ready to pack everything up for car camping at the Pinckney State Recreation Area. It's about an hour away from the house, and I'm taking my wife Nikki. Actually, it was her idea, and we're gonna try out my brand spanking new Hennessy hammock. Should be some really cool stuff, so stay tuned. Here we are at Pinckney State Recreation Area. Got everything set up. Nikki's gonna sleep in the tent back there. Got our little kitchenette set up, picnic table. Got a fire going already. Nikki trying to avoid the camera. My lovely wife, Nikki. Tending the fire. All right, so here's my new Hennessy Hammock Hyperlite ASIM Zip. It's the first hammock I've ever owned, and I set it up in the backyard, but uh, I don't really have any really good spots to set it up. So I put it between a fence post and my shed, and it worked out all right. I slept in it for a little while, but uh, I wanted to get it out in between a couple of trees, do some camping with it. I got a little bit of a weird setup here because th these were the best two trees that I could find to hang it, and they're a little far apart. So I didn't really have the stuff to hang it, but I did have ratchet straps in my truck. So I just took the ends off the ratchet straps. And I got a marlin spike hitch right here. And then the whoopee sling, which we'll see if this holds up overnight. I made these out of uh, Zingit, 2.2 millimeter Zingit, um, which is not recommended. But uh, when, I get, uh, when I get back, we're going to order up some Amstil and make up some new whoopee slings. Uh, this is my continuous ridge line setup. Again, not long enough to put in between the trees, so I had to improvise with a little loop around the tree. But uh, basically I got this little tiny carabiner, and I got this from uh, dutchwaregear.com, and uh, I'm just using a little uh, figure nine to cinch that up. On the other end, I basically have uh, the same exact thing little carabiner from dutchwaregear.com the little lark's head there to hold that on I did uh, an extra wrap around there just to make sure it would hold so I didn't get out of line with the hammock ridge line so here are my snake skins which are not run over the top of my uh, ridge line yet uh, because this is the first time I've had this set up and they were actually on the tarp itself so that's kind of my hammock set up here um, I don't really know if I'm doing any of it right, but uh, I, hang, I hung in it for a little while and uh, it was pretty comfortable. So we'll see. I think uh, the more I do it, the better I'll get at it, and I guess that's kind of the point of this. So, Nikki checking in with the kids, making sure the hair on her legs aren't too long. I shaved. It's good. Here's what Nikki's going to be sleeping in tonight. It's the REI Quarter Dome 3. This is the tent that I took on my uh, trip to the Manitou Islands. We kayaked for a week straight between South Manitou and North Manitou Islands. A great tent. It's uh, really good for two people. It's, a, it's roomy for one person. This is the Sierra Designs Backcountry Bed. So this is the women's two-season backcountry bed. And it's got a comfort rating of 33 degrees and a limit of 23 degrees. Uh, it's got 800 fill dry down. And it's got a little pocket where you can put your feet out. And then there's also like a sleeve underneath that your sleeping pad slides right into. So you don't lose your sleeping pad. It, in the night when you're rolling around or whatever. Nice that we're car camping because we can bring as much as we want. She's got the doubled up sleeping pads there. She should be really warm and comfy tonight. So the quilt has little pockets in the corners of it you can tuck your hands into. and It makes it nice and easy to put it all around yourself or when you rolled over to uh, tuck it in around the uh, the hood of, of the bag. We'll take a walk down to the lake. Check it out. 
This is one of the other campsites we looked at, and I think we probably should have picked this one. It was just smaller, so we went with the larger one, but uh, this would have had a lot more hang options. That's the problem with being in a campground. You can't just pick any tree. You have to be within your site. All toilets. Awesome. How clean. Do they stink? Not yet. It's early in the year. I probably should have mentioned that we're at the Crooked Lake Campground. It's a primitive campground. There's no electricity, uh, no water. There is a well, and it's actually pretty good water. The well water is. Okay. So, and there's a uh, there's a little dock or pier or whatever you want to call it that goes out into the lake and fish off of. And there's a, also a boat launch down here. We were here last fall and they had beautiful colors up in the trees here. It was nice last fall because it was so warm all season. I think we were I think it was October when we were out. This is one of my favorite things about car camping. So you can pretty much bring anything you want, no matter how heavy it is or bulky it is. As long as you can fit it in your car or truck or whatever you're driving, you're good to go. This is uh Little table, a little setup for a little kitchen setup from uh, GCI Outdoor. This is my classic Coleman two burner stove. I run it on white gas. Um, I actually ran the serial numbers online, and this one was made in, I believe, 68. It came inside of a, an old pop up camper that we had uh, a few years back. And here's our little propane clamshell grill. I used to have a little square one, which I liked a little better than this one because the clam shell shape kind of limits you on what you can put on there but it still does the job you know, it just so happens that uh, even though this is the uh, I don't know about first was it first or second week or June first week, second so anyways we're on the first week of June here and we actually have temperatures uh, just in the high 60s it's been uh, 80 80s even almost upwards of 90 I think uh, for the last few weeks, couple weeks anyways, and all of a sudden it uh, shot down to uh, the high 60s and we're supposed to have a low tonight in about the mid to high 40s. So that's why if you're looking at some of our gear and thinking, why you bundle it up so much in June? Well, that's why, because uh, we really weren't sure what, uh, how cold it was gonna be tonight. So we brought a little bit of extra since we had the room. Assumed you were done. Oh, I'm done now. <laughs> nah. Ninja Nikki. S'mores. Got the fire going. It's a beautiful, beautiful night. Oh no. Left a bunch on the stick. Shut up. <laughs> That's the way to do it. <laughs> Uh, look at that nice brand new black diamond headlamp. Looking good. Good job modeling. <laughs> it's 
about 9.30. Sun's almost gone. We're probably going to stay up maybe another hour, hour and a half. And then uh, hit the sack and it'll be my first night in the hammock. Mm-hmm. Get late now. Gonna get us some s'mores. Mm-hmm. You say s'more what? Well, s'more of chocolate and marshmallow and graham cracker. Mm-mm-mm. What's wrong with you? Wheat. 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 Just crawled into my hammock. Room. Fire's burning down. Nikki's in the tent, all snuggled in her bag, and uh, just gonna try and get some sleep here. I'll let you know how it goes in the morning. See you tomorrow. Well, it's morning time. I had a pretty good sleep. Uh, I woke up a couple times. Uh, I just had. Uh, I had the suspension on uh, one side of it slipped down a little bit, but not a real big deal. Uh, I still slept fairly well. I think when I change out the whoopee slings with the uh, amp still, I think it'll probably be a lot better. Uh, all in all, it's a pretty good night's sleep. I'm pretty happy with it. That yeah, give you an idea of how low it got on the one side. Not a lot, but it was enough to make a bit of a difference. My butt was uh, only a few inches off the ground when I woke up this morning. Got the fire stoked up already. We got some extra wood we need to get rid of. That's still pretty good. It's about a it's about a quarter of what we brought. Got water going for coffee. Nikki's putting stuff away. Our breakfast maker, Jay Mizzle. He makes really good bacon. <laughs> Not as good bacon when we're camping as at home, but hey, whatever. I got breakfast menu is eggs, bacon, toast, bagels, yogurt, with a little bit of coffee. Emptying the bacon grease, which, by the way, is delicious. Breakfast is served. You love the smell of marshmallows that much? Oh my God, yes. <laughs> hey guys, back home now. I've uh, been back home for about a week. As soon as I got home, I placed uh, an order with Dutch at uh, DutchWearGear.com and uh, just got a few things to uh, take care of some of the stuff on the hammock that I really wasn't happy with. I'll be doing a weekend trip to the Manistee River. I'm going to do the uh, Manistee River Trail 
and North Country Trail Loop. I'm uh, going to be doing that with my brother. Uh, we're leaving on a Saturday. We'll get there s Saturday evening, I guess. We'll hike Sunday and then uh, hike out Monday. So, three days, two nights. Should be a good trip. So, I'll show you my new hammock setup when I'm on the Manistee River Trail. See some of the new stuff I got from Dutchware at uh, DutchwareGear.com. Already got uh, my new whoopee slings done, and got some new tree straps. So I'll show you all of that on the next trip. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up at the bottom. Share it with any friends that you think might want to see it, and subscribe to my channel. Till next time, see ya.